good morning everybody i am dr kanhu charan patro i am today i am going to discuss about the radiology of pilocytic astrocytoma if you see the picture in the right side the happy smiling girl so definitely the survival is the best in pilocytic astrocytoma around 80% at 20 years if you see the hairs elongated hairs if you see the histology with if you see the histology of Uh, pilocytic astrocytoma with bipolar cells and elongated process so it looks like say long pilocytic uh, yeah, so it resembles like a hair so it is known as that's why it is named as a pilocytic astrocytoma if you see the most prevalence in the pediatric cerebellar neuroma 85% and uh, around uh, 5% of intracranial tumors and or uh, 1 to 1 uh, to 7 percent of all gliomas most age is below 20 years no predominance in the gender location mostly cerebellum it occurs any part of the body uh, any part of the brain but if it is a optic chiasm uh, 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 if it is um, happens into uh, in the um, optic nerve mostly associated with neurofibromatosis nf1 syndrome clinical symptoms and signs it depends upon the location and uh, the manifestation were mostly headache vomiting disturbance gait disturbance blurred vision papillary mouth special features mostly as i told neuro nf1 uh, located in the optic nerve histopathologically you see uh, loose glial component compact pyloid regions rosenthal fibrous fibers and pilomixed sub types has affinity towards the hypothalamic region ct appearance it is a hypotenuted cyst like component with subtissu neural nodule mr mr if you see hypo t1 hypo with t2 uh, middle nodule is hyper t2 it is hyper cystic hyper and uh, subtissu component is mixed signal more uh, neural nodule always mostly enhancement ring like enhancement cyst and uh, homogeneous uh, enhancement necrosis with central non enhancing zone mostly surgical therapy is the best option but some cases like hypothalamic pituitary uh, um, axis uh, hypothalamic area and optic chiasm optic nerves does require only radiation even uh, prognosis is very very um, good 80% at 20 years So, pilocytic astrocytoma is a pediatric population. Most common is cerebellum. All, um, it is a uh, mostly most cases are associated with uh, beta alteration. There is a lack of IDH and P53 mutation. Cystic with mural nodule. Non-enhancing systols or enhancing systols. It may be enhanced or may not be enhanced. Heterogeneous. Sometimes completely solid enhancement. Invariably present hemorrhages. Unavoidable complication. so if you see the ct picture this is the ct picture it is a cyst with a mural nodule s is the mural nodule c is the cyst the solid part s if you see the t2 here uh, this is the t2 part is the hyper cystic part is the hyper and mixed density in the mural nodule so contrast it is mostly enhancing the mural nodules mostly enhance and uh, supratentorial this is another supratentorial pilo cystic astrocytoma with neural nodule uh, these are mostly common in the adults and um, uh, if supratentorial part uh, pilo cystic astrocytoma mostly in the adults with um, uh, cyst and neural nodule another example you can see here cyst with neural nodule cyst is hyper nodule is mixed density and it is a cerebellum this is the um, uh, cerebrum uh, cerebral hemisphere and uh, from pons there is exophytic growth from pons you can see here this is the mural nodule cyst is a, that is also is the pilocytic astrocytoma another atypical form where the total solid component enhancing more totally solid component and uh, these are the multi cystic multi cystic multi wall wall enhancing and um, with mural nodules these are the another forms are atypical forms and if you see the optic nerve which is associated in nf1 you can see here this is the pilocytic astrocytoma how you can see the here bulge here and there is a thickening uh, there is a constriction band here and this is the 
optic nerve sheath meningioma a valis optic nerve sheath pilocytic astrocytoma you can find out the cervical cord most of the cervical spinal pilocytic astrocytomas also it needs excision and post op radiation we can see here how it is enhancing here and chiasmatic pilocytic astrocytoma these are the chiasmatic pilocytic astrocytoma you can see hypothalamic chiasmatic pilocytic astrocytoma also uh, not very good prognosis is pilocytic astrocytomas uh, invariably requires radiation surgical uh, uh, procedure is not possible and some atypical with some hemorrhages very uncommon but you can see the hemorrhage inside with the pilocytic astrocytomas you can see in the ct plane or t1 plane so pilocytic astrocytoma with classical it is a mural nodule these are the cystic and mural the classic enhancing wall sometimes you see and sometimes non enhancing wall it is in the cerebral hemorrhage a large pilocytic astrocytoma in the brain pilomixed astrocytoma though it lacks the all pilocytic uh, pictures histological pictures and mostly in the sum, uh, suprasellar part of uh, brain it and it's located suprasellar part of the brain and uh, suprasellar um, uh, area of the brain and this is the pilomixed part pilomixed astrocytoma if you do the differential diagnosis it is the medulloblastoma and ct medulloblastoma often appear as a mass arranged from the vermis it may be central eccentric of course lateral in the cerebellum usually hyperdense mixed density cyst necrosis is common in and cyst and necrosis are mostly seen in the uh, older patients 10 to 20 percent patients you can see the calcification enhance is present over 90 percent cases usually prominent so if you see the medulloblastoma here the medulloblastoma characteristic feature is compressing the fourth ventricle it is not it is not arising from the fourth ventricle it is compressing the fourth ventricle another difference of diagnosis in the pediatric population is the fourth ventricular ependymoma and they are uh, in the posterior fossa majority are in the posterior fossa and uh, arising from the lateral wall of the lateral lysis of the fourth ventricle floor of the fourth ventricle typically heterogeneous mass necrosis calcification cystic cystic changes hemorrhage is frequently seen uh, a more, it looks like a heterogeneous appearance because of all these characteristics so this is a fourth ventricular ependymoma this is wall of the uh, fourth ventricle you can see it opens in arising from the fourth ventricular ependymoma so any uh, the radiological algorithm how to define it is a medulloblastoma or it is a pilocytic astrocytoma you can see the algorithm posterior fossa mass if it is mural nodule with cyst it is a pilocytic no doubt if it is enhancing mixed density mass then you have to see the compressing the fourth ventricle arising from the cerebellar of the cerebellar vermis it is a medulloblastoma if it is arising from the wall of the fourth ventricle and uh, compressing the cerebellum it is ependymoma this is a gross radiological algorithm differential diagnosis of pilocytic astrocytomas and if you have three last slide with three pictures pilocytic astrocytoma cyst with a mural nodule ependymoma arising from the fourth ventricle compressing the cerebellum with heterogeneous mass with as enhancing um, some part is not enhancing medulloblastoma arising from the fourth ventricle uh, sorry sorry arising from the cerebellum cerebellar vermis and compressing the fourth ventricle so solid cystic pilocytic arising from the fourth ventricle ependymoma compressing the fourth ventricle it is a uh, medulloblastoma that arises from cerebellum thank you very much